Hi everybody, this is Russ Goslin, and I um, hope everything's going well in your modeling endeavors. As you can see, I uh, finished up my interior to my uh, German half track here, and I'm pretty impressed with the results. Um, let's see now, uh, yeah, the last time I made a video of this thing, there was uh, not too much. All the uh, ammo bins and rifle bins weren't installed yet. Uh, nor was the uh, dashboard in the uh, driver's compartment. Um, so overall, uh, I was pretty impressed with uh, the photo etch that came from Edward. Um, it came with a lot of nice details and the paper, if you recall that first video, I mentioned the uh, instrument panels for the uh, driver's uh, dashboard and it came with like the little meters and little gas gauges and um, that came up pretty well. Uh, I was able to just spray it with some Future uh, floor polish and kind of give it a little coating and then just a little super glue and painted it on the uh, back side of the panel plate and there's no problems. So when I wrap up the show uh, I'll uh, show that to you. The other part of the photo etch that was not too good um, was these uh, bins for the rifle rack and stowage. If I were to build this model again, I'd probably build the uh, stowage bins out of styrene. I found it to be, um, well, photo etch in general is pretty um, fragile. Um, you know, you're always afraid to touch the model because something's going to break off of it. The uh, the bond of the super glue and the plastic and the metal is not as super strong as uh, we would like. Um, the other part of it was when I have to put the top piece of the hull together, uh, what I noticed was that these edges right here, uh, they didn't quite line up. So if I forced the hull together, I was really uh, afraid that I'd pop these bins off. So I was a little bothered by that. So I had to do a little uh, uh, surgical work with my X-Acto knife and my Dremel to uh, cut out some little, just little notches so that I um, give myself a little insurance policy that I wouldn't um, snap these off. So that wasn't too exciting. But um, I got it so it works. The hull will come together and I'll be um, pretty impressed with that. The other part was these rear compartments, um, they had no bottoms to them. So if I wanted to put stowage in them, they'd just fall out and um, be on the floor of the half track. That's not very practical. Um, so what I had originally done was I took some sheet styrene and I uh, glued it to the bottom, but it was um, kind of flimsy and I was afraid that if I put too much weight that it would sag and you'd have light going through it, it wouldn't be really sealed up. So I kind of took that off and instead what I built was I uh, took styrene uh, sheets and I kind of uh, laminated them together to make uh, kind of like wedges and blocks so that they would kind of get stuck at the bottom of the, um, the bins. And then once those were installed I just took uh, tissue paper, the uh, wet tissue paper method and I sort of um, gave the impression that there's these uh, canvas tarps on top of uh, stowage that you know they don't want to get dusty or uh, ruined and then I just took some uh, equipment some stowage and I sort of glued them on top to look like um, you know it's being used by its crew and and such and um, that came out pretty well I'm impressed and um, I'm really looking forward to um, getting it all finished so hopefully in a week or two I can get it wrapped up. Um, the only thing is I, I wanted to show this to you is because um, you know, once I get the hull together that's it you know all this detail hopefully you can see this um, it's all going to be kind of not gone but once the, the hull comes together you know there's going to be a lot more shadows and you're not going to be able to see too much so this might be the last viewing before it gets closed up for good um, so everything came out pretty well. The other part that I didn't like was, uh, well, it had nothing to do with Edward, but uh, as you can see, the driver's wheel, um, man, it's a little uh, oversized, and uh, you got to be a really skinny soldier to fit in there. Um, 
Tamiya's kit had the wheel, it was just kind of flush up against the uh, dashboard or compartment. And um, at first I didn't think that was very accurate, so I wanted to make a little rod out of styrene and I stuck it in. But I did find some pictures on the internet of actually a driver driving a uh, half track and um, that steering wheel certainly is uh, is a lot closer so that's a little uh, inaccuracy or a little thing but I'm not going to worry about it again um, it's the inside and you're rarely going to see it um, it's the outside that's going to get most of the attention um, and I added some stowage in the map case and the pistol and the ammo box on the seat here that came out pretty good and I got a few little things here. I got a mess kit and canteen and a gas mask and shovel. Um, so there it is. Um, see, I used mostly just dry brushing inside on the um, the anti-skid plates. I gave it a, a wash of uh, Lejo and then what did I hit, hit it with next? I dry brushed it briefly with a little bit of rust and a little bit of a uh, a sand color and then I kind of topped it off with a little bit of uh, metallic gray or steel and I kind of did the same thing with the seats kind of just did a series of dry brushing techniques just to kind of break up that monochromatic tone um, and again kind of like when I was working on M113 you know, I'm trying not to push the weathering too too much um, I think I've done plenty of that with some earlier pieces I want to kind of be a little bit more subtle and kind of just leave it at that. Um, so I wish I had more to say. I hope you can see the um, that instrument panels with the dashboard. You, know, you probably can't see it on the camera. I have no idea. Sorry, I apologize if, you, if it's too close. Um, but that came out pretty good. So that's the model. Um, that's the first phase. I guess the second phase is I got my um, my uh, hull, and that's going to be uh, pretty exciting. Um, so I'm just going to cap it on here. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, this Tamiya kit does show its age, and um, it's going to need a lot of filler and such when it gets done. But you know, that's okay. Feeler's good. Um, so there's that. And that. As you can see, you really can't see too much. On the, I mean, you know, it's an open top vehicle, so you, you, know, you will be able to see some stuff. But as far as the driver's compartment, you know, it's going to be uh, limited. Um, so there it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to like really glue up, button down this seam, use a lot of filler, be like a Bondo model. You know, I'm kind of looking forward to maybe buying some uh, more contemporary kits from like Trumpeter and Dragon, even some of the newer Tamiya kits. Um, no more filler, I hope. You know, there's always going to be a little bit of filler, but uh, these older kits, it's like without filler, you know, can't get too far without it. Um, so hopefully it comes together. I'll be doing a lot of clamping and all that stuff. So I, uh, this will be a pretty short video, which is uh, a little different for me. I know my videos can be a little long, um, but that's about all i got to say for this update. And to, hopefully I'll uh, get this thing done sometime, uh, maybe by the end of June, I don't know. Um, okay, well, I thank you for watching this and uh, staying tuned. Uh, so I thank all my uh, subscribers. My subscribers' as numbers are going up. Not that that's, uh, you know, it's not a race or anything like that. But um, it just it feels nice that other people, such as yourselves, uh, find these videos interesting and um, are staying tuned. That's great. Um, you know, it's kind of a nice uh, shot in the arm. So I'm going to say goodbye and uh, wish you all very well. And I will see you again sometime soon. So, thanks. Bye.